Hey, and welcome back to Pacific Northwest Wreckage. I'm Christian, and today we're going to be talking about one of the options that you may be back and forth on, and that is the instrument panel mounted auxiliary switches. If you're planning on running a ton of different lighting options, if you're having a snowplow setup put on your truck, or really if you plan on just doing a lot of things that are, cannot be integrated into uh, the factory system as it sits, the auxiliary switches are a great idea. There's five of them, they're a super clean install, and they take the places of the hard buttons that cover your heated seats, ventilated seats, and heated steering wheel. For a lot of people, either they don't have those options or those seem a bit superfluous and it's not really something that uh, they need to have a hard button for, and the auxiliary switches, there are five of them, are mounted directly into uh, the electronics of the truck and are programmable through your dash. I don't have this feature, so I can't run you through what my dash would actually look like, but just so you know, the first two are battery fed and the three, four, and five are ignition fed. That can be changed through the settings in your menu, which is really nice. You can also learn things like constant on and momentary. Let's say you had a horn that you wanted to honk, you can actually hit that just so it doesn't stay on all the time. Um, or you can have it so, let's say it's a light bar and you wanna do some off-roading, you can leave that on and have it stay on. It also remembers if you choose to program it to do so, what the state was when you last had your truck on. So if you have lighting that needs to stay on or an accessory that you need to remain operational every time you start your truck, you can actually program through your center display that that particular auxiliary switch remains on. With all of that said, Ram is, has put together a really nice package in that they give you all of the wiring for this. There are access points underneath your hood that are numbered and tell you which auxiliary switch they correspond to. I think that's a really outstanding feature and it just wasn't the feature for me. That by no means is that the case for everybody and I think that there are, probably are a lot more people out there who would benefit from it than those who actually have it. I have no plans to run any other auxiliary feature on my truck other than a light bar. And I'm a bit back and forth right now if I wanna actually permanently mount that light bar or if I wanna have it as something that can be hooked up in a pinch or hooked up when I wanna do off-roading or when I'm out somewhere where I really would just rather have a lot of lighting. Uh, I bought the light bar off of Amazon and it was intended for my old truck. Never got around to doing that and that truck is now in truck heaven so it's probably not gonna happen. I still have that light bar and I still have the switch I had custom made for it which is really clever and says daylight mode. If I need to, I can mount that in a variety of locations within the, within the cab, within the truck. I don't have a sunroof. There's a space where the sunroof switch is that might work. There's also a space underneath the four wheel drive, uh, four low, four high, excuse me, four low, four lock, and two wheel drive selector knob. For me, not only was I not running more than one accessory, but I also don't have a ton of faith in the longevity of the Uconnect system. That isn't to say that I think that it's going to just take a crap as soon as I'm out of warranty, although that's generally how things work. But it is to say that I wanted to have physical switches for heated seats, ventilated seats, and a heated steering wheel, because those are things that I intend on using and have used very regularly and far more regularly than I would have used something like a light bar, an extra horn, a crane out the back, or like a trigger grill. I'm sure you could figure out a way to hook that up. So I opted for the physical buttons, and really, I have a hunch that the Uconnect system is going to fail probably before the physical buttons do. I absolutely could be wrong, but I didn't want to have to go in through my Uconnect every time I wanted to activate heated seats, ventilated seats, or a heated steering wheel, because in Oregon, today it's like 60 degrees and raining. It was 45 degrees when I left my house today. Tomorrow it's supposed to be 80. So it's nice to have that option just right there and handy, and you can just quickly tr like alternate back and forth things, adjust your settings, and you don't have to navigate the Uconnect system, which does have a tiny bit of lag and is just not something I wanna be messing with when I'm driving. Relatively short video today, but that is the reason why I chose the hard buttons for my like heated seats and everything rather than the instrument panel mounted auxiliary switches. Again, if you plan on running a lot of different accessories, if you need to for work, I think it's a great option and it can be had as a standalone option on most trucks. It also comes as part of the Snow Chief package or I believe the Snowplow Prep Group uh, in addition to a 20, 220 amp alternator and I believe a skid plate as well. 
So you can get it in a variety of packages, you can get it by itself, and if I had the need for it, I absolutely would have gotten it. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I wish you luck in your research and purchase, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.